Hi, today I'm at the Moltings Tap House in Newton Ebbot where I'm going to try to answer a question about how guitars age, how their, how their sound changes and how their look changes over some years. Now to do this I'm going to use my Martin guitar. It's a Martin DM Road Series from the age of 2004. It's been well and truly gigged, it's been worked hard, it's travelled, it's, um, it's, it's done a number of gigs, recording sessions and it's had a bit of a life truth to be told. To compare against that, to show how it's aged, I have got my hands on a new Martin DM. But it's not new, it's um, from 1999 and in the first, uh, for 17 years of its life it has been in its box, just stored away and uh, hasn't really seen that much life. Essentially it's a new version of what mine is. So we can wander back through time, listen to this one, see what it sounds like and see how the tone and the look has changed over the years to go from this, a new Martin DM, to a well used mellowed, aged um, guitar which is fantastic. We all know that uh, as things age they get better. Wine, whiskey, women, guitars, songs. So, um, so we're going to put that to the test. You'll be able to hear them for yourself and, uh, and make your own mind up. So essentially both guitars are exactly the same, they're the same specification. The only difference is, is the strings on, uh, on mine are a little bit older. They're, um, they've done a couple of gigs and they're due for a change, but they've probably got a gig or two left in them. So um, I'm not one of the guitarists that changes strings in every gig or for every day. I like, I like the, uh, the sound of the, the strings as they sort of get old and the guitar sort of quiets down a little bit. So, um, so specification wise, if, uh, if you know your Martins, this is a spruce top Martin, mahogany back and sides, and uh, as you can see with this one, I've put some nice gold machine heads on it, which I think make it look a little bit of a better machine, uh, machine head, uh, sorry, headstock. So, um, so essentially they're standard. I have put some electrics in this, a Fishman, so, um, so, and this one's showing a few signs of, uh, of dinks and, uh, and, and age. So, um, so essentially I'm now going to give them a play and you can make your own mind up. First up, 2004 Martin DM. So next up is the newish Martin DM that's been held in a case for 17 years. It's essentially what mine was when I bought it new in 2004. See how the tone changes. So you've heard them both. You've heard the new but old one and you heard the old 
but old one, I think, unless I've got that mixed up. But what we've essentially done is gone back in time to when this guitar was new. So uh, by using one that's been stored in a case for some 17 years. As you can see from the aesthetics, that this one it's got a bit of a darker sort of tone to the, um, to the, to the to the spruce top. This one is a bit lighter. There's dinks and scratches all over that one from its uh, time on the road, but um, hopefully the sound speaks for itself. Hopefully that uh, you would have heard the, the, the slightly mellower flavor of this one. And this one's it's, it's sprightly, it's new. So, um, so that is essentially how this guitar started off all those years ago. And this is what it's turned into. So over time, it turns out that Martin guitars, or guitars, do do mellow as they um, as they get older, and uh, and the colours enrich them, and they become something more than what they what they originally were. Hopefully, you found this video informative, maybe even helpful, and uh, hopefully, sometime I'll find two Martin D28s or uh, D45s, one that's been stored and one that's been used, and we can compare the two and uh, and basically continue to look into this question on how guitars age. Thanks for watching.